Hi everybody, welcome to uh, another edition of the Weekly Wine Journal. I'm here with Ronnie, who is uh, the director of executive the Arizona director. executive director of the Arizona Wine Growers Association, and this is the Arizona Wine Festival put on by the Arizona Wine Growers Association. Yes, that's hard to say fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's take a walk around and maybe you can point out uh, some of the vineyards that, that okay. are taking a look. And well, we've got, um, this is the most number of wineries we've ever had at this event, so we're real excited. There's actually 12 wineries represented from all over the state. We've got them from uh, northern Arizona, the first one here, Caduceus. Their uh, tasting room is up in Jerome. They, he actually has a number of vineyards up in, the, in northern Arizona, some in Page Springs, some in Jerome, some in Cornville. Another tasting room again is uh, in Jerome. We now have three tasting rooms in Jerome, so it's a nice wine destination for you to go up there. And then Page Springs Cellars in Page Springs, the winemaker is Eric Lomsky. He's uh, probably our most prolific winemaker in the state. He works a little bit with uh, Pillsbury as well? Yes, okay. he is. Uh, we call uh, Sam Pillsbury the wine director. He's he, over uh, there. He's a movie director. From He's made uh, a few movies in Hollywood as well as New Zealand. And he's come here and had gotten the bug, and he's actually been making wine in Arizona for, I know, over 10 years. He owned the second oldest vineyard in Arizona, and has since sold it to Eric and Maynard for the Arizona Stronghold label. What do we got here? We're in front of Cocopelli Winery. In Cocopelli Winery, they actually have uh, two locations now. They've got a Cocopelli Winery and Bistro in Chandler, which is their original location as well as their new one in Surprise. They, uh, they have a, a number of great wines. They're probably the largest producer of wine in Arizona. Um, they've been making wine for just, uh, 12, 12 to 15 years. And um, with their locations, they're a little more urban, so it's a little easier for people to get to them. Um, they don't actually have a vineyard. They're, they're sourcing grapes from around Arizona as well as some other locations. Over to Wilhelm Family Vineyards. And uh, Wilhelm, actually, uh, Carol Wilhelm is one of uh, a number of Arizona winemakers that is a woman winemaker. She just got her certification from UC Davis. Uh, they're located in Sonoida, which now has nine tasting rooms, so it's a great, great day trip, or I'd say day trip from Tucson and, or a weekend trip from Phoenix. And uh, the first time we went there was. Uh, Labor Day weekend a couple of years ago, and when you go to Sonoida, you don't even think you're in Arizona anymore. The beautiful rolling hills, it was beautiful green when we went. It's just, it's a wonderful experience if you get a chance to go down there. And then next to Wilhelm is Alcantara, um, another woman winemaker, is Barbara Predmore. She has family from. She's not there right now, I guess. The Paso Robles area. That's actually uh, Jim Whiskerton and Brian Predmore, her son. They're located in northern Arizona, just off of 260. They're at the confluence of the Oak Creek and Verde Valley, and they are the largest vineyard in northern Arizona. It's, it's beautiful. She's done a really beautiful job, just really uh, focusing it on Italian varietals, and, and uh, if you get a chance to, to go visit it, it's just, she's got a beautiful winery building. Over and then to another Oak woman Creek. winemaker here is Deb Wall up in the Verde Valley. She's up in Page Springs. There's three tasting rooms right next to each other uh, Page Springs, with Deb Wall's right across from Page Springs, and then next to Havelina Leaf. And that's her right over there. Maybe we should go and visit her after she's done with these customers. Here we are at the Suvino booth. What a in Suvino Winery is a family venture with a Corey and Christine Whalen. It's located in Scottsdale. It's uh, the only winery in Scottsdale. Uh, they make their own wines, which they distribute at events such as this, as well as in their tasting room. And then they also help you make your own wine. That's one of the things they do uh, for corporate clients, things like that. Uh, if you just kind of have the bug and want to make your own Chardonnay, you want to try it out, he can help you do that. There's a, a few of them in the Phoenix area, a Studio Vino as well as Casa Vino in Fountain Hills. Now, Ronnie, what does the Arizona Wine Growers Association do? Uh, the Arizona Wine Growers Association is a nonprofit group that really supports the winemakers and the vineyard, the wine growers in the state of Arizona. That's what we're here for. We want to create an environment that helps them succeed. We want more grapes being grown in Arizona. We want more quality wines being grown in Arizona. Uh, we went about four years ago from 12 wineries to 39 wineries now, licensed and bonded in the state of Arizona. So it, that's part of that has been done by the, um, some of the, the things that the AWJ has accomplished 
accomplish legislatively, marketing-wise, and also educationally for our members. All right, thanks for the tour. You have a book. And this is a magazine we produce to help people find out about wine country, help them go wine tasting. Um, we include information about the wine tasting regions, including wine tour maps so you can find the wineries, tasting room hours, and uh, just it's a great resource. It's called the Arizona Vines and Wines. Arizona Vines and Wines, it can be found in the wine departments of most Whole Foods, of most AJ's, and also at Total Wine and Wine. And they're on Twitter as well. Yes, yes we are on Twitter. <laughs> Super. <laughs> at AZ Vines and Wines. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.